Hey guys, it's Fee, and I am finally doing my What's in My Hospital Bag video. Today I am actually 37 weeks and five days, six days, yeah, no, six days, no, five days, 37 weeks and five days, and um, so I figured I should go ahead and do this video. So I have everything in here. I went by the list that was on my hospital's website. It's the list that they provide of what to bring. Um, and yeah, so I pretty much just have, let's see, I may cut myself out of here a little bit, but you guys want to see the back, not me, right? Okay, so I have my um, carry-on size roller bag. And in this front compartment here, I have um, just about this this baggie here. It just has my um, phone charger and some extra batteries. And I know it's really bad, but I use the same charger for my iPhone and iPad. I know they say you're not supposed to, but whatever, I do. So, um, and my husband also has an iPhone, so this will all be um, this will work for either one of our phones. So I have that in there. And then I also have this folder here, which has um, all the paperwork and stuff from when I went and pre-registered at the hospital. That's all in there, as well as um, this is just a copy of our health insurance card. And I also did a, um, I printed out a medical contact sheet, so it has all of, it has my uh, pharmacy that I use, my uh, family medicine doctor, my OBGYN, and then also the pediatrician that I'm going to use uh, for um, her information, as well as my, my medical history and allergies and um, what medication and prescriptions or whatever that I'm on. So I have that folder. That's in the front pocket. So I figure if I have to get to that really quick, it's right in the front pocket. So that's there. And... And sorry, text message. Um, in the top little pocket up here, I have this is kind of like my medicine first aid kit. And I really, I have some Tylenol for like my husband or mom or whoever's there. Um, sanitizer. I have Vaseline. I have the Vaseline for my lips um, because. I've seen it and I also have heard it that your lips get very dry during labor. So um, that's what this is for. This is for Vaseline. It's for me. I have a little first aid kit that just has, you know, band-aids and that kind of thing in there. And then I also have Kleenex because we are a very watery family and we cry all the time. So I figure it won't hurt to have Kleenex. <laughs> So that's what's in the first compartment. Turn this back this way. All right, and so once you open up the bag, um, I didn't. I am not packing a separate um, diaper bag or baby bag. All of her stuff is in the back with um, my husband and I. So in this top compartment up here, let's see if we can get a better view of that. And this top. All of her stuff is up here in this top compartment. So I'm going to pull that out and show you guys what's in there. Um, and again, I went by the list that was on my um, hospital's website. So they told me to bring a pack of pampers. I mean, pack of pampers, pack of wipes. So I bought some wipes. I have wipes. I have her baby book. And they said to bring um, receiving blankets. So I have two receiving blankets that I'm going to bring as well as um, these are just, this wasn't on the list, but I figured I'd bring this just so we can have it driving home or something in the car. Um, burp cloths. So I have two burp cloths. And then... And here are her outfits because they do a whole like photo shoot and everything right there in the hospital. So I got her a couple little outfits. Um, just depending on her size, 
we received this as a baby shower gift and it's a newborn. So just in case I have an eight pound baby who doesn't fit in, you know, fit in this, I bought something extra, but I wanted to have her take her pictures in this. A little outfit here and we have like, I have little, little socks to go with it. And I also have um, either the red or the black headband. So that's one outfit there. Um, and then I figure if just in case if she's too big for that outfit, um, I have some um, going home outfits. This is just um, a newborn. It's a little um, onesie. Newborn, that's for her. And then again, if she's too big, if I have a, a big baby, um, I have this other little onesie set and it has a little hat, a little owl, a little owl. And that, and then also we have her blankie. It's pink and it has a little owl, because of course, you know, the whole owl theme is what we're going for. So it has the owl on there. And I also want to do a picture with her um, with this. And we have matching headbands because I kind of want to do the cute little like nudie, naky baby with the little headband. So I probably like the purple and on the blanket. So that is all of her stuff. And now let's go with mine. So the first thing that we have on top, I have my robe, which is just um, you know, terry cloth or whatever. I feel like it's really dark. I feel like the lighting keeps going crazy in this video. Because I, like, I keep moving back and forth. Keeps adjusting. Sorry. Um, I have my robe. And then I have on top, this is my camera to take pictures with. So I have um, camera have that in there, which I also, I have a, a brand new um, memory card inside, as well as have an extra memory card, which I don't think we take that many pictures, but we never know with the new baby. And I also have my um, flip cam to record, so depending on what exact, I don't know, whichever way we want to do it. I don't know what, what we're going to, we're going to record off of that camera or this camera or phones, or because I'm also gonna have my um I my iPhone and I also have my iPad with me, so that records, which is what I'm making my I do most of my videos on my iPad because it's just convenient. So um, we'll have that, and then on top I have just toiletries in here, and as you can see, um, just real simple stuff: toothbrushes, toothpaste, mouthwash, deodorant for my husband, deodorant for me. Um, shower gel and sanitizer and face wipes are back here. There's some lotion down there. So pretty simple, standard stuff, not too much anything. And then in this bag here, this is, um, I have my husband's hairbrush. <laughs> Exciting man brush. Um, I have my hairbrushes. I don't use a comb, I just use a brush all the time, so. And then I have like a bristle brush. And I plan on making sure that my hair is straight um, for delivery, because it's so much easier and it's less work or less product I have to bring with me if my hair is straight. So hopefully um, they don't catch, I don't go into labor like mid wash of my hair when, when I'm, before I get straightened. And then I also have this, it looks really weird, but this is the, when my hair is straight, this is the only product I use on my hair and it's actual um, coconut oil. So what I do, I take, I buy the jar and I cook with half of it and I use the other half for my hair. So that's why it's just in this little Tupperware container. So this is coconut oil. And then I have scrunchies and Headbands, which are the good kind with the rubber on the bottom because everything always slips out of my hair. So we have those. And then I have, oh, I did bring, I love hotels. They always have these 
little all the little toilet juice things, but just a shower cap, just in case. Um, not just in case, but when I do take a shower, or if I have to get in the shower for any other reason, um, uh, in the water, um, perhaps room to labor through for I hear you know with the hot water and stuff is really good for helping with um pain management. So I have a shower cap so my hair doesn't get wet and curl up because I don't want it to be curly. And then I just have my face wash things. Um, this is a little uh face wash thingy, I don't know, brush, and my, um, this is my actual face wash, um, and these are just a front face, I have a face wash, toner, moisturizer, and a serum that I use, um, and this is, um, it's actually a product, product that I sell, I sell, it's a product called Jordan Essentials. It's all natural products, so I use so it's really good and healthy for your skin. It doesn't have a lot of um, harmful chemicals. But if you want to know more about it, you can look at my other videos that talk about that. So I'm not going to go into details about that. But if you have questions, obviously I'll answer it. So that's my face wash stuff, and this video is getting really long, so let me hurry up. Okay, and then I have for my husband, we have a pair of socks, um, you know, undies, t-shirt, and then. Um, just a pair of, you know, whatever, casual shorts, something to sleep in, t-shirt to sleep in, t-shirt to wear back home, change of outfit, and jeans. Again, it's not very cold here. We have been having like a little bit of a cold front, but I mean, it's like 70, still 70, 71 degrees, so um, he'll be fine with that. And for me, I just have two different pairs of um, slip, you know, slipper socks. And these are just another pair that has the little grips on the bottom. And just a pair of just regular socks for me to go home in. I have um, my nursing bras. And these are actually sports bras. So I figured out some of the sports bras. Um, so I brought one, of you know, a black and a white one. And, of course, I had a pair of undies that are in the box. So I bought these were like five, you know, they were on sale for five bucks at pennies one day. So I just bought them. So got those. And then for me to go home in or just to wear, I have, um, these are just two t-shirts and this is actually a long sleeve t-shirt that I can wear home. And these are, um, full length pair of like yoga pants. And then this is like a pre pair of yoga pants. So just super comfortable, nothing fancy. And that is everything that's in the bag. And then I also have on the side just a little small bag like this. And inside of here, I have I have some waters, some granola bars. <laughs> in like a bag of like candy that's for my husband and my mom while they're there waiting because of course I can't eat anything but they can um that's it that's my hospital bag I just said I just went by the list that was that the hospital provided the only thing that I didn't bring I didn't include like slippers and um because I don't like slippers and I have the the socks with the you know the footy Res slip resistant thing on the bottom so I figure that's fine even if I have to walk to the hospital that's fine I just don't like walking around in slippers um as well as a gown they said like you know if I want to bring a gown but I, I I honestly hate sleeping in gowns especially like dress gowns I don't well I don't like sleeping in pajama pants um which isn't a good idea anyway because I'm you know giving birth so I can't really wear pants and I don't like sleeping in like gown dresses because I feel they get all twisted up and stuff on me. So I'm just gonna wear what the hospital provides because I don't really want to deal with that anyway. Oh, I forgot, I do have something else in my bag. A little side zipper which made me think, that made me think about it. Um, I have in this little pouch here, I have um, some nursing pads in there. And then also I have my big lovely super absorbent thick maxi pads um just to have just in case i know the hospital provides those or whatever but I have some extra just in case 
But again, that's it. This video is almost 15 minutes long. See you guys. Talk to you later.